What's the crack lads? What is going on and welcome back to the channel. So we are back with the epic worldwide training guides for these players, right? So I was going to just uh, do an individual one. But to be honest, lads, right, Ono and Muro, Muro, <laughs> Miura are not real players that I would massively recommend. Now, in saying that, right, a lot of this game in eFootball, when you take away, you know, a lot of the issues that it has and you take away a lot of the stuff that sometimes can't be controlled and sometimes you just come up against a good player or you come up against... You know, you get bad luck, right? When you actually strip back a lot of stuff, you will hear me talking about, like, you know, certain players being able to play above their stats. So I've no doubt that um, Miura is a fantastic option if you do spin him and you get him in and you want somebody that's able to cut in and finish. It's very, very hard to play that way. But if you are looking to do that, such as Neymar, where you have that electric pace and you're able to cut in and score on either foot... This guy is an absolute beast, right? Ono is just kind of a stereotypical attacking midfielder. He doesn't have any excellent stats um, when you look at him on paper. But anyone that watches me play the game, right? And especially if you are a newcomer, I can't stress enough the importance of actually getting a feel for a player, right? You look at the way I play with Collar. Collar bangs goals in for fun. So it's not all about just kind of the, you know, the, the black and white stats, say. Uh, you know, everything is kind of like... Um, relevant and it's all about how you actually play the players you know what I mean sometimes I find that you play better with players that you want to play better with if that makes sense like your favorite players like if I'm a United fan I might play better with Rashford even though Rashford's stats mightn't be as good as Mbappe's but anyway so we have thrown all of these trainer guides into this one video because there's just been so many cards leads and trying to get the training guides out it's just taken a lot of time a lot of research and a lot of testing things out so we are going to start with Miura as I said a minute ago, this guy's got really good stats. Uh, sorry, we're going into the wrong one. He's got really good stats. He goes to 90 overall as a left winger, right? Now, he does have unwavering form, and he also does have some nice player skills, such as fighting spirit, as well as double touch, rising shot, first time shot, long range uh, curler, scotch move, cut behind, flip flap, double touch, scissors faint, everything that you could possibly want. The biggest problem with this card, lads, is not his speed or his acceleration. It's actually his balance, because for a small player with lack of physical contact, a lot of people are sleeping on that stat, right? So we're going to take a look at my kind of ultimate training guide over on eFootballDB. We actually have two different versions of him. The first is a cut in and strike, cut in and shoot, cut in and curl the ball into the back of the net type player. So this is him here. We've got eight into finishing or eight into shooting and passing, 11 into dribbling, six into dexterity and five into lower body strength. That's going to give us, you know, um, mid-range kind of dribbling. It's going to give us really uh, good finishing for a winger. And it's also going to give us 88 plus acceleration when we do get that form arrow going our way. Now, the second version of him, you can pause the video at any time, lads, if you want. I will be going through this quite quick because we have three players to cover. The second version of him is going to be more of your pr prolific winger, right? So you're not going to be cutting in and finishing. You're not going to be really passing the ball that off that often in terms of possession. You're pretty much going to be playing long ball counter or quick counter with this guy and depending on his blistering pace and his dribbling. So depending on how you like to play, you can obviously tweak this dexterity if you want. We've maxed this out because we want his balance to be as high as possible, which is what I recommend if you're using him as a winger. But you can knock it at 12 as well. And you could if you wanted to boost up the lower body strength if you're going to be defending a little bit with him with the fighting spirit, getting back. But I definitely think that is probably the ultimate version of him is when you have his pace at least 95. So that's just my opinion for him. Now, uh, we have had different versions of him in different positions. Obviously, he's a legend, this guy. He's still playing. I mean, his current rating here is is, is down as a 54-year-old in the database. And he has had multiple different versions of him that they have released, right? Legend cards or whatever, including this one as a 50-year-old here as a deep line forward, which was another good card. Um, but I do think that, yeah, this is a good card if you are kind of starting off and you're looking to have a really good winger. But I do think that the likes of Perez is probably going to be better than him. Uh, Robert Perez from the uh, from the eFootball Point shop. Next up, we have got um, Ono, right? So we're going to just go back to him for a second in game and show him before we get to Nakamura, who's one of my favorite players growing up. Now, this guy's got really good stats. He is let down a little bit by his standard form, but he does have one touch pass and he also does have double touch, which is really nice. He also has true passing and weighted pass with low lofted pass, which is insane for a card like this. He doesn't have any AI play style, so that's just something to keep in mind as well. But to be honest, lads, attacking midfielders are a dime a dozen. I mean, you just get like Bruno Fernandes this week. You've had a couple of other free ones that they've released over the last couple of weeks. So I do think that this guy falls into the traps. If I was training him up, 
I am really just complimenting his creative playmaking skills here. Max out his dribbling and dexterity as much as we possibly can. Run and gun with him. That's all we're going to be doing, depending on that one-touch pass and also depending on the true pass and not really slowing down the play. If you are playing a little bit more possession, I could definitely see you turning this down to maybe like 78 acceleration and pop the rest up to low pass if you want to go that route. And then also have the dribbler. Now, bear in mind, we still have 71 finishing with this card as well, which brings us to a 93 overall AMF. Now, last but not least, we do have Nakamura. A lot of people have been asking me... Now, he's obviously, you know, a legend in the game, excellent free kick taker. And if you don't have Beckham or you don't have somebody that you're comfortable taking free kicks with, I think you could do a lot, uh, <laughs> a lot worse than this guy, right? So we'll have a look at his in-game card and his in-game appearance and stuff um, before we get onto his card at eFootballDB. So a bit of a disappointment is the fact that he doesn't have unwavering form, but I do like that you can play him in multiple positions, right? Especially as an AMF. Um, because he's not rocket fast, but he does have a lot of good passing. And of course, you also have that finishing that's quite high as well. So we, too, we do have two versions of him that we're going to take a look at. He does have one touch pass. He does have double touch. He also has outside curler, true passing and weighted pass, which is insane. And when we go and look at the card here, we're going to have two different versions of him. So the first one is your tr traditional attacking midfielder. He actually goes to a 94 overall here. So we've maxed out his free kicks at 99. But the main reason for that is we want to max out his finishing and get it over 85, which we will get when his form arrow is um, is in the highest form arrow in either green or this uh, this blue. So if you do get a boost to that finishing, we'll have it like 86, um, which will be more than enough to be able to finish as an attacking midfielder, right? Now, bearing in mind, if you are playing him as attacking midfielder, he is going to be a creative playmaker. So he might be different than you're used to playing with like a whole player or something like that. The only change I would make if you are using him as a right midfielder, he's not going to be defensive, he's not going to be anything like that, he doesn't have the best engine, um, but I would obviously take away the shooting. If you're not going to be shooting with him, like you still have 91 free kicks, that is more than enough, you've got your finishing at 76, I think it's a bit of a disservice to do this to him and to his card if you wanted to throw up his stamina a little bit, and even failing that, if you wanted to just keep his, his speed at 75 and his dribbling not that high, his passing not that high if you're playing him out wide you could boost up his um, acceleration and balance to go to over 90 when he has the form arrow which is again quite decent for a player like this and he goes to a 94 overall when we boost up the lower body strength one more so that is the two versions of him let me know what you guys think i think it's all about passing and moving again um with most of these players that you're going to be playing but let me know what you guys think as i said i am trying to get out to training guides as quickly as possible but please um let me know your thoughts on these cards and we'll be back monday with some more cards again and more reviews so until next time lads peace